Hi guys, well it's a Friday so time for another Unraid tutorial. Um, in this tutorial we're going to install Unraid as a virtual machine on top of a real Unraid server. So, an Unraid inside an Unraid. A bit like a Russian doll. So, here's the vid. Cracky. Um, we're going to install Unraid as a virtual machine on top of our Unraid server. Um, the reasons being, well, just for testing really, in case we want to test one of the new mainline beta Unraid releases that are being released and will be released in the future. Um, anyway, the first thing we need to do is to create a new Unraid USB stick. Um, we all know how to do that already. Um, basically, just go to the download page on the Lime Tech website download the latest stable version and create your USB stick. You can see here I've downloaded the files already and I've unzipped them. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a virtual image of the Unraid USB stick. Um, first I'm going to show you how to do it on Apple Mac which is the system I use on a daily basis. So for that I'm going to use Disk Utility here. Um, just please note this is an older version of Disk Utility and the newer version is basically a really cut down version that doesn't do half of what the old version did. This program is in the description if you want to use the old Disk Utility on a newer version of Apple Mac. And I have also made a video of how to install Disk Utility on a newer Mac in El Capitan. Um, to be honest, I haven't tested this, this disk utility in Sierra, but I'm sure it should work in that as well. So we click on new disk image um, and give it a title. Call it Unraid. And this is basically the file that it's going to save as. It's going to save onto the desktop here. Um, this other name here is for the actual name of the image within inside the file. So we'll call that Unraid in capitals, just as we would if it was a USB stick. Um, the size, we don't really need a very big size, so I'm going to click on custom here and just choose 300 megabytes. For the format, we're going to use MS-DOS FAT and no encryption. And for the partition type, we're going to use master boot record. And for the image format, just DVD master. Um, then we just click on create. Then that's quickly created on the desktop. So then here we have the image. So just click onto the image and open it up. We've got a blank disk image there. So just as if that was a USB stick, let's copy our files into it. And just view it as a list. And then basically just the same as you would on a USB stick, just double click on Make Bootable Mac if you're on Mac. And put in the password. Okay, so now our image is fully bootable. We can close that and eject this. Now if you notice it says .cdr, um, all we have to do just change the file extension to .img and there we have our image ready to use onto Unraid and now I'm just going to quickly switch across to a Windows 10 PC and show you how to do exactly the same on here as you can see I've already got the Unraid files unzipped on here so on your PC just go to control panel and then to administrative tools. Go to computer management and then go to disk management and just right click on disk management and click on create VHD. VHD standing for virtual hard disk format and it just asks us to choose a location where we're going to save it. The desktop's absolutely fine Again, we call it Unraid. Click on to save. 
Now here again it's asking for the size, again we'll make it 300 megabytes and the VHD is the type of format we want. Supports up to 2000 gigabytes which is absolutely fine and we want it to be a fixed size so all we need to do now is click on OK and there we can see it's come up as an unknown disk and it's not initialized so all we do is right click it, initialize disk and we want to choose master boot record, click OK and now we have the disk here. So again right click and then click on new simple volume, just follow the wizard through, click next again and we want to give it the drive letter D, it's absolutely fine. Click on to next. And now it's going to ask us um, to format it. So we want to choose FAT32. And again, we want to make sure the label is unread in capitals, just as we would if it was a USB stick. So then we click on to next. And then click on to finish. And now we've created the disk image. So we'll just minimize this screen. And if we go to here you can see it's attached now as disk D so what we're going to do is go to our unraid files copy all of these and then paste them in here And again, just um, run the Windows file to make bootable. Just right click, run as administrator, and press any key to continue. And we're done. So now that's done, it's made bootable. And now all we need to do is to go back to our computer management and click on the disk here right click it and then detach VHD it just tells us whereabouts it is so yes that's the one on the desktop we want to detach that click on OK and then we can close that and as you can see here again it's called VHD we want to just rename that to be dot IMG Yes, we want to change that. And again, we just leave that on our desktop, ready to copy across to our Unraid server after we've created the template. So anyway, now we'll go back to our Unraid server. And you can see I'm already on the VMs tab. Um, that was actually the Windows machine we just created the VDisk on. Anyway, scroll down and click on Linux template as Unraid is based on Linux. And first thing to do is to give it a name and Unraid Linux seems the best. Um, click on the icon and you can choose an icon. Um, as you can see in here I've got lots of different icons for various different virtual machines that don't come as standard with Unraid and I've made a tutorial basically how to customize your Unraid, how to make custom banners on the top and all those different icons. It's very very easy um, to get the icons in. You know I really suggest you look at that video. Um, anyway back on topic, um, choose how many CPUs we want um, I normally don't have the first two checked um, and then just give it some memory um, 8 gigs is fine and the BIOS I'm going to choose CBIOS and now we're going to create our disks so the first disk we're going to create we're actually going to replace it with the disk we've just made so um, 
I'm just going to tell that to be just a 10 megabyte disk because we're going to delete it in a moment anyway. So that will be our boot disk that we're booting from. Um, and now we want to give Unraid some disks to use in its array. So just click on the plus to attach another disk. Um, and this time I'm going to make this 5 gigs. Um, but this time we need to make sure that we have the bus type on SATA. Um, I'm going to create another disk. Exactly the same, 5 gigs. And a SATA bus. And finally just one more disk. Again 5 gigs. And on the SATA bus. And scroll down. Um, there's nothing else here we need to do so just to recap through we've given it an icon given it a name given it some CPUs given it some memory and this is our first disk which in a moment we're going to delete so that's only 10 megabytes and then we've got three other data disks the first we'll use as a parity disk and the second two as data disk so we can create a proper array and we want it on VNC so we're ready to start now, so we just untick start VM after creation and click on create. So now you can see at the bottom I've got my Unraid Linux template all ready to go. So now it's time to copy the file into the right place. So I'll minimize this window and I've got my location of where I store my virtual machines. Um, mapped onto my desktop here so we need to go onto there scroll down there's the folder Unraid Linux that's got the files in so let's click onto that there's the disk image I said we're going to delete so we just need to um, delete that so we're not going to be using it and then we're just going to copy copy this in so it would just copy into there but what I'm going to do I'm actually going to go back onto the um, PC and show you from here and we'll just finish off on this one again I've got the virtual drives map um, so again scroll down to the Unraid Linux and we'll just copy across our image here so now it's time to go back to our Unraid template, we're going to left click and then go to edit and if we scroll down now we'll see that the primary disk location is on manual so we want to click onto that and just browse to where we keep our B disk for this virtual machine which is in the Unraid Linux folder and there you can see we have the Unraid image there which we just copied over and now this part's important, change the primary VDisk bus to USB. For some reason I found it doesn't seem to work, even though it starts to boot unless that's on USB. Anyway, scroll down and click on update. And now we can boot up the virtual machine, so click on start. And VNC remote. And just let it boot and when it's finished it should give us our IP address so we can log in okay there we've got an IP address it's here it's 192.168.167 so we'll close this off now and pop that in the browser and here we are onto the registration key page um, you can see everything's working but there's one thing you're going to find that doesn't work. So we just go back to the registration page because we're going to need to get a trial key. Now, the flash GUID obviously is wrong and um, Unraid looks for the USB in order to do this. I'll just show you what happens if you try and get a trial key. Um, we'll just make up a totally random email address because it's not going to work anyway. Um, then I'll click register trial and it says all oh, error is not valid so basically we're not going to be able to start this 
but we're not going to be able to start the array because there's a there's no registration key. So just shut this down now. We're going to go back to our Unraid Linux. But first we're going to plug the USB stick in that we created earlier, the proper Unraid one. There's my flash drive that I've just created earlier. This one here. Um, it is a good idea to use a different brand from the actual one you're using as your proper USB drive. This is my proper USB drive here. I did use another one exactly the same and I found it didn't work at all. So it looks like you have to use a different one. Um, that may not be the case but that's what I found in my testing. Um, scroll down to the Unraid Linux and then just press edit. And there's my USB flash drive so I'm going to select that to pass that through and click on update and now this time you can start up the Unraid and just let it boot up. Okay so when we boot it back up you can see we've got the same IP address go back onto the same page this time and click refresh and now you can see we've got a proper um, flash GUID number um, and now I can click on get trial okay so we've got the key so now what we're going to do is just paste it into here and click install key And there we have our key and we've got a 30 day trial of Unraid on a virtual machine. So be careful of course that you don't try and set the first disk you see here as um, one of your disks because that's your 300 meg boot drive. So there's my first 5 gigabyte disk, my second, my third. Anyway, I'm surprised it even gives me a temperature, but hey, it is. Um, no cache drive, um, there's no point really having that, obviously. So, all we need to do now is um, click on start and it will build our array. So guys, there we have it. There's um, a virtual Unraid running on your Unraid server. I'm gonna stop this now and just show you one thing to watch out for okay so just to be aware you don't want to have two USB sticks plugged into your Unraid server called Unraid um, normally it's going to be fine but what you'll find is if you stop your array so if you scroll down you see as you can see now it says for, for mine that it's invalid or missing or expired registration key Obviously that's not the case, but um, it's reading the wrong USB stick. It's not a problem if you don't stop your array. It's not going to come up in the middle of your Unraid server working. But I'd just recommend always after you've finished using your virtual Unraid, just pull out the USB stick. So I've just pulled out um, the USB stick. And see so now if I refresh the page, It's quite happy now with the um, registration key on the correct USB stick that's in there. And I can start the array again. Um, what you may want to do if you're really worried about that, I really don't think it's going to be a problem though, is you could stub a USB controller and then put the USB stick in the stubbed controller. And then, you know, if you stop your array, you're not going to have that problem. So guys, that's how to set up Unraid within Unraid. Um, I hope you really enjoyed the video, um, if you did, as always, please give it a like and if you want to see more videos from me then please subscribe. Anyway guys, I hope whatever you're up to it's good and you have a good rest of the day.